Hey guys, welcome back to one month in my bullet journal. Um, it's Thursday, April 12th. And here we go. So um, Wednesday is sort of half done. My grocery list, I'm, I'm half done, half done. Um, these are things that we're doing after in the evening anyway. I was going to work on YNAB over my lunch break, but for whatever reason, the internet was acting up and I didn't have time to fix it. Now I've come back from work and it seems to be working fine and I have no idea what was up before. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to be able to log in and look up our accounts to um, reconcile everything. Hopefully I'll have time to do that before I have to go to Bible study. Um, and then I may not get to the garden research. And the grocery list is here, actually. So this is the same notepad that I showed in my meal planning um, video a while back. It's just a piece of note paper, um, and I've got like a you know shopping list on there. But I threw it in here under the string um, of my book. It does stick out a little bit. Um, you can see there; it sticks out um, farther than the pages, but it's only in there for like today until tomorrow. Um, I just thought it would just be handy to have it there and it also the when it sticks out it reminds me that I need to do the grocery shopping so I've got some stuff written down there that needs to be purchased on Thursday so I'm gonna add that to the list I'm um, trying to think at this point this is one two three four five yeah no by the time I drew the header we would have room for like one thing on the to-do list so let's go ahead and do the header uh, on the next page You'll see these uh, these pens really really bleed, but whatever. Um, the I don't know. I love the uh, field notes inserts. I just like the you know the branding and all of that, but like they're not the best quality paper I've ever used, and they're not really great for having these pens that. You know with like color and stuff it discourages me from using color because when i do using these pens that i happen to have these stabilo fine liners um it leaks through it makes a mess of everything on the page behind but whatever i'm deciding not to care so there we go You ever have those weeks where it feels simultaneously like everything's dragging by, but at the same time, like it's kind of going faster than expected? I don't know. I think I'm having one of those weeks. All right, I'm ready for the weekend, but also kind of not. Right. You know what I'm ready for is for, um, our weekday commitments to be over for the year. That's coming up soonish. Um, we have confirmation class on Tuesdays and Bible study on Wednesdays. And uh, confirmation will be like the actual confirmation is in mid May. So we have like a month left of classes. And then it'll be done. Um, and then Bible study, we're going to keep going to, um, at least until the baby comes. But just having Tuesdays free will be really great because it's, it's having two nights in a row every week, um, that we have commitments that we have to be out of the house. And, you know, my husband has like an hour and a half long commute, so it's always... He's always rushing. Doesn't really have time at home until late, until like nine, um, and which is barely time to do anything like for yourself or for the house. Um, so, you know, anyway, that's the thing. That's what I'm looking forward to, but that is not applicable to this video because we're talking about April. Speaking of calendar, let's see. Thursday, I have a phone call to make in the evening um in the morning let's see i did do a load of laundry today 
Very proud of myself. Um, okay, looks like I want to film a video tomorrow. Definitely go grocery shopping in the evening. I think I also want to paint my nails tomorrow because this has been, I think, over a week now. I know, I checked this the other day. Uh, paint nails down here. No, it has been more than a week. No, yes, no. Was it on a Thursday? It was on a Wednesday. It was last Wednesday. So it's been exactly a week. Eh. Um, but it's starting to get a little bit of tip wear and I kind of like having fresh nails for the weekend. Is there anything that I need to do in the morning? Particularly. Not really. Is everything here. Let me make sure everything here has a dot. Yeah, okay. So that means everything is assigned somewhere, and if it's not in my column, I don't have to worry about it. So we're going to tomorrow. Uh, start here. This is a video for that I'm I'm filming a bunch of videos ahead of time for when I go on maternity leave. Um, need to go to grocery shopping. I'm gonna put garden research because I need to do that because I didn't get to it today. And yes, okay. All right, I put a little square, or I have been putting a little square for like errands, so. Grocery shopping. Then phone call and paint nails. And then hopefully I'll have a little bit of free time in the evening to work on the sewing projects and stuff. Um, because Thursday, oh, Thursdays are great because after having those two nights where we're out of the house, having a whole evening in will be fantastic. I'm going to cook pasta and then just have time to get stuff done. So that's, that's great. All right, I think that's it for today. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you. Throw something in there. Uh, this was yesterday. I felt like I was kind of losing my grasp on the projects that I have in here that are like dormant, that are um, in the future, that I haven't started yet. And I wanted to make sure that I knew when they were, when they were coming up, what they were. Um, and so like how many were at the same time so that I would know how much time I have to work on them. So I went ahead and I just made up this little spread. I listed each week from now through, um, through the baby's due date, basically, um, and listed most of these things are for my uh, my Hogwarts, but not everything. And basically, I just marked off the weeks that I should work on it until it's like due, um, and just sort of to give me an idea of how busy I'm going to be with things on my plate. Like this last week last week, um, like last weekend, I felt the weight of Tuesday's confirmation talk sort of on me all week long. And even though I didn't really get a good chance to work on it until Sunday, when I was able to like sit down and I spent, like I showed you before, like an hour and a half solid just working on it. And I got it done and it was great and it worked well. It, um, yeah, it went really well, but it was kind of hanging over me all last week. So just kind of being able to identify the things that are hanging over me, it gives me a little bit more control. That's basically like the mentality behind my to-do list generally, is if I know what I have on my plate, then I feel like I have a little bit of control over it if I can name that stuff. So I made this sort of little spread of this collection of upcoming projects. And then also, I guess I'll know like if something comes up, that's an opportunity to work on something. Um, 
I'm probably going to say no, just knowing what all is coming up. Like at this point, major project is going to start and that's raising an infant. Um, but until then, it looks like I do have, you know, a decent amount of free time, like project free in June, which is good because that's going to be when I am um, going to be, you know, getting all the last stuff together for the baby and hopefully nesting, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will post again tomorrow, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the morning. Bye.